Welcome to Mornings with the Mayor. As always, we have a great show today, but today is very special. It's one of the most important things here in Ben Salem, Bucks County, and across America that we could talk about it, and that's our veterans. And today we have a couple, of, well, actually be three of us, uh, ex, not me, three experts here, and we'll be bringing uh, Joe Hogan on a little bit while, later. But I have with me to my left Joe Safran, and to my right is Gabriel Masio, who is the vice president of the Guardians of the National Crossing National Cemetery. Correct, Mayor. And, uh, also, you are the COO of the Washington Honor Guard. Correct. And I'm going to go over to Joe here so we can get this thing put together in sequence. Joe, uh, you're a uh, past councilman of Ben Sale Township, I think, for 22 years. Yes, sir. Did I have it right? You got it I right. I got it right. You got it right. I'm trying to break his record. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, Joe's uh, been a councilman for 22 years, has moved up to the county, the Recorder of Deeds office, the row office there. And um, one of the things that Joe has taken on, a very, very important thing, and I commend him on the great job so far that he has done, is the Veterans Program. Joe, why don't you tell us about how that works? Okay, Mayor. Well, first of all, I'd like to say it's nice to be home back in Ben Salem. And traveling throughout the county, it's always good to come home. I'm not going to put you on the spot. It is one of the best places you can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> You live here. Yeah, I live here. And yes, it is. It is probably the best place in the county to live. And uh, uh, what I would like to uh, bring to you guys' attention today is we have, in Bucks County, we have a uh, Veterans ID program. Uh, what the uh, program consists of is that we, we travel throughout the county and we register, register, uh, register veterans. They must record their DD-214s with the county. And then with that, we give them an ID card which is a small one. I don't know if you can get a little. He can pull in on that. Pull in a little Darren. bit on that. And what we do with this, they have uh, we have vendors throughout the county that they can go in and get a discount. Sometimes it's five up to twenty percent discounts, free meals. It's it really uh, depends on what they really want to do. Yeah, where can they get this? It shows all the <coughs> vendors. They well, get that when they get their card. Yes, they will. They will get a book when they get their card. What, what we have also done with the program, as of right now, there's well over a thousand vendor, uh, vendors throughout the county that are participating in this program. Uh, what we also did was we did seek the help of some uh, corporate sponsors who actually pay for this booklet that gets issued, and here it is here. Uh, this booklet gets issued uh, twice a year, in the spring and in the fall. and. Uh, we send this out to every veteran that has signed up and gives them all the addresses and phone numbers of anyone that's participating in the program. Joe, I think you said there's 6,000 participating vendors right now? No, no, there's over 1,000 vendors. No, 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 vendor. I, I apologize. Vet veterans, yes. Uh, veterans that participate in the all program. Over 8,000. Yeah. 8,000. 8,000. Now, 8, I understand, I think my number is correct, there's 60,000 at least veterans in Bucks County? Is that? That's what that's, the VA yeah, yeah. That's a pretty good number. Between okay, 60 so and 70,000 living, living veterans. Living here. Yes. So, it looks like you got a lot more work to do. Oh, yes. Yes, we do, Mayor. It's, uh, it's an ongoing program. Uh, we, we have, uh, what we have done, too, in the last uh, month or so, we have tried a new program where what we are going to try and do is we're taking the, we don't have all the veterans' uh, email addresses. So what we're trying to do is bring all the email addresses into the county and put them into our system where we want to take any veterans' email and we can mail them offers that have been given to us so we don't have to uh, send them out via U.S. mail. Right. Which would be a, a program where it'll be easier for and, us and to uh, we've done do it. That. We've done it twice here, I think, and so far, or once, once. What, registered veterans in, in here in Ben Salem? We've registered vet, uh, no, I think we've done it like three times. Three times. Now so you're doing it on, on our Fall Festival of Pride Day, right? We will be in Ben Salem on the uh, October, 5th. Uh, October 5th. We will be here Wednesday night, October 23rd. Try to remember that and we'll hopefully, Darren will put that on the screen. Yeah, on the and scroll. we'll also be here on Thursday morning uh, at uh, Representative D. Ramos Expo. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So we will be here in the Ben Salem Township building on the 23rd in the evening and during the day at Gene's Expo, I believe it is, at the uh, Senior Citizen Senior Center. Center. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to switch gears a minute, Joe. I was just going to tell you another program we have, and I was going to, then you can go right over Go ahead. Well, tell me about that. Uh, the Bucks County Recorder of Deeds Office, along with Bucks County, we went into a partnership earlier this year with the Guardians of the National Cemetery. And uh, this program also consists of Reefs Across America. And I brought two gentlemen from the Guardians that uh, can probably explain a little bit more to you about well, how that program works. Okay. And uh, representing uh, us right now is, uh, as I said earlier, Gabriel Massio. And first of all, let me congratulate you for your service to our country. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Thank well, you. Well, well appreciated. Uh, uh, Gabriel uh, is the vice president of the Guardians. Correct. And he is the CEO of the Washington Crossing National Cemetery Honor Guard. Correct. So it uh, sounds like you got a lot to do, Gabriel, in, these, yes. in this capacity. So tell us about it. Well, we appreciate you having us here today. Uh, uh, we do a lot of out outreach programs. We go into the communities, uh, some types of things like, like Joe does. And it amazes us how many people do not know that we have a national veteran cemetery in in Bucks County. Um, so far to date, uh, we have laid to rest uh, over 6,000 wow. veterans. Um, cemetery opened in January 20th of 2010, so we're into our, our fourth year. The Guardian organization was established in 2007 with one mission and one purpose in mind. Uh, we worked with the civic communities, we worked with the representatives, we certainly worked with the National Cemetery Association, uh, as well as the Veteran Affairs. The cemetery, this cemetery is run by the Veterans uh, Administration, Department of Veterans Affairs. Um, it was our objective to place a cemetery in Bucks County. Uh, the governor and some other people had some other sites in mind. Uh, they were looking at Harrisburg, uh, Lancaster County, they were looking at adding another one in the Erie, uh, Pittsburgh area, and one in Chester County. But we were very successful. Uh, there was a lot of legal battles, obviously. It was not an easy, it was not an easy task to get a cemetery here, but in, in fact we were successful in making it, making it, making it happen. Um, currently, currently we have over uh, 300 uh, members of the Guardians. Uh, our functions, our support functions, in addition to the 300 members that help us support, uh, gain donations, become members, we also have 60 active veterans who function every day at the cemetery as, as honor guards. Uh, we that's are, all part of the Guardians? That's all part of the Guardian organization. Our commitment with the Veterans Administration was to be the sole support service of the cemetery. Uh, we are there every single day. We have a, f a rifle team of anywhere between five and seven veterans, all, all trained uh, for 30 to 35 hours with an M1. It's, uh, we're regulated by the Department of Defense in the United States Army. So everything we, we do is by, is by regulation. We maintain our own weapons. The weapons are supplied by the Department of Defense. Uh, uh, there's a lot of protective safety issues that get involved with uh, us handling the weapons and we're very protective of, uh, of safety issues and how we do that. Uh, most of our Honor Guard members are of age. <laughs> uh, of age, our average age right now is probably 72 or 73. Oh, wow. So our objective is, is the continuation of this service that we perform at the cemetery. When you do that, you look for young blood like in every organization, whether it's a VFW organization or American Legion. We find it, uh, that age is becoming an issue with uh, getting new members and getting people active in the organization. So we try to solicit younger people, uh, you know, people returning from Afghanistan and, and Iraq, obviously, in today's turmoil areas. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of those people work, they have jobs, they have families, and they can't give the time that us retired people can. But to date, we have not missed a mission. We have done over 6,000 missions without missing a, mis a mission tomorrow. I just saw the schedule a bit ago. That's what came over on the phone. Uh, we have uh, seven services tomorrow. We're wow. probably averaging, we probably average uh, at least seven or eight every day wow. uh, at That's the Washington Crossing National Cemetery. It's, it's, it's a beautiful site. It, it's an emotional site. Uh, 
Uh, I've been, I probably have done at least 2,000 services myself there as a, as a rifleman giving final honors. And you still get that emotion. You still get that feeling of, of, uh, of something, you're doing something so important for the families. Uh, the families uh, are so appreciative of, of us being there. Uh, they, they thank us. We can't do enough. Uh, we've had some very, very big funerals there. If you all remember uh, um, Officer Fox uh, from Plymouth Meeting, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, had, uh, we had probably over a thousand people attend that funerals. We probably had police officers from, I know, from, from Ben Salem and just about every other, every other township in, in this local Pennsylvania area. But getting the word out of, uh, of, the, of the cemetery being there is, uh, <laughs> is, is interesting. We, we do a lot of outreach programs. We've done some harvest days just recently this weekend, and it's so odd that uh, people have no idea the cemetery there. So our objective is to keep the, is to keep the organization going, to, to, to have a tomorrow, uh, not only to have the initial infancy of starting something, but having a continuation the cemetery will be there forever. I mean, it, it's a national landmark, obviously. It's hollow ground. It will be there forever. Uh, the cemetery probably, probably has about a 75-year life as far as the amount of uh, grave sites that uh, will be made available to the veteran community. So uh, somewhere around 190,000 veterans could be wow. laid to rest here, here, in, here in Bucks County. T the Guardians, uh, uh, I think I heard you say there's 300 members. Yes, is we, that, yes. Is we, that something that people volunteer for, and that you look for volunteers? Yeah, we look for volunteers. We're obviously a 501c3, a nonprofit organization. We look for volunteer support services. Uh, we have a lot of mailings to do. We have a lot of background work that we do. Uh, we <coughs> run uh, because we are the support service at the Washington Crossing National Cemetery. We do. We do events. Uh, the next coming event will be <coughs> will be Veterans Day, November 11th, which is Monday this year. We we run the Veterans Day services. Uh, that 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 attendance ha has been growing. Uh, we do Memorial Day, obviously. We do the service for Memorial Day. We solicit uh, Eagle Scout programs uh, to come in and do beautification uh, to put up monuments. Uh, so we're in touch not only with the, with the VA and with the National Cemetery Administration, we're in touch with the community to try to bring young people, bring scouting into the into the cemetery. Uh, you know, we do we bring groups of people in to let them see, you know, and understand what a veteran's life is and how important you know respecting and, and contributing to uh, the veterans organizations are. So we're more than just a physical a physical organization. We're a touchy-feely organization because we're dealing with yeah. a very Emotions. emotional Are you con kidding? consequence. On a daily yes. basis. So we will continue to be here forever. I don't think we're going to go away. The cemetery won't go away. And we have a lot of people to thank, obviously, over the years, the hard fight to, to finally, finally, you know, meet the fruition of having a national cemetery in hollow ground, a national shrine in Bucks County. Well, we are very fortunate that that finally did come here, and, and I've been there to see it, and it's a magnificent, uh, as you call it, hollow ground. And it's for everyone to uh, thank God for the veterans that, that do end up with that honor of being there, and hopefully the word will get out more. And I know, uh, Joe, while you're doing your partnership out there, getting people signed up, I'm sure that they're getting the word that Gabriel just talked about. Uh, yeah, well, we, when, we go out, when we go out, uh, throughout the county, we do take uh, the donation uh, cans and stuff with us and promote the uh, Guardians of the National Cemetery. But specifically, we promote the uh, Reefs Across Program, uh, Reefs Across America program uh, that you know these guys have uh, you know, installed. Wow. It's really a it's a magnificent site, especially at the holiday season when this comes and. We, we, we felt that, you know, that we, we should give some Oh, goodness. Especially doing a it's fine, not, fine uh, job, Joe. I mean, to, to that your organization is certainly, uh, you know me, I always talk about teams win. So when people are working together, yes. they have the opportunity to get so much more done. Gabriel, I'm going to switch gears on you. 
Um, uh, we're going to take a short break. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We really Joe appreciate Hogan being and, here. Mr. Hogan, oh, our president, uh, will talk about Reefs Across America and that program as well. And, but I want to really thank you again for your service to our country. Well, you're welcome. And as I always, when I talk to the veterans or I see the veterans, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. Well, and ladies we, we, and gentlemen that have taken us to where we are. We have a lot of we have a lot of respect for each other, and that's uh, you use the word teamwork, and that's exactly what the military teaches us, and it carries us through life. Well, it really, really keep does. Up the great work. Okay, thank you. God Mayor. bless you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank, thank you, Joseph. Uh, thank you. God bless. We gather here today to place over 24,000 holiday wreaths to remember the fall, honor those who served, and to teach our children the value of freedom. As you place that wreath, take the time to, to look at that name. A lot of these stones uh, don't have people anymore to, to come by and pay respect. You'd be proud, just like we are. Thank you. Yeah. Michael Martino was a Marine Cobra pilot who died heroically while flying a combat mission in Iraq. Even a year after it's happened, you know, every day is um, just so tough to get through. There's always constant memories. And, but then you come out here and see something like this that people are doing for your, your, your son and other soldiers that are other servicemen, it, it makes it easier. It brings a tear to my eye to, uh, to, to see people come together. I, I, we bury a lot of folks here. We did a, a funeral uh, yesterday. Uh, and this is a good opportunity to do something other than uh, bury our comrades to pay honor and respect them and so it's kind of a special moment today. I'm a Vietnam era draftee. Uh, when I came back to the United States we didn't wear uniforms. Uh, we were uh, instructed to take our uniforms off. Uh, now wherever I go uh, we get a lot of uh, we get a lot of support. Everybody I, I believe uh, understands that uh, uh, these uh, these men and women give everything for their country and uh, this is an opportunity I think just to give a little bit back. I watched this mother and a little boy place a wreath on one of the stones. And I remember thinking, someday when the words in his name are all worn off, there still will be someone who will come by and pay their respects to my son's memory. And this is the impact and the reason why I continue to work with Wreaths Across America. We've been laying wreaths here at Arlington for, since 1992, this is our 15th year. I'm from Harrington, Maine. Our business is making uh, Christmas wreaths and other Christmas decorations. I wanted to give back, you know, and it's because of the freedom that we all have is why I can do what I do and everybody else can do what they do, and, uh, but I, I just wanted to give back. After 9-11, we all came together and remember that we love the country and we loved our freedom, and we and we understood that. And then, you know, then we got busy again and got complacent. We're a grateful nation. We just got to show. I don't want to let my brother's name be forgotten. And nobody should let anybody that's killed over here their name forgotten or forgot what they did. Ultimately, it's all about saying thank you to everyone in here. In life, they honor their country. In death, their country honors them. A beautiful gesture of gratitude for those who gave us the ultimate gift. Nahanna, you were there yesterday. What did it mean to you personally to be there in Arlington? I think, you know, you, I guess a tendency for us all is to listen to numbers. I mean, there are 2.7 million such graves mm. in this country. Of, people who died uh, in service to our country, but you realize these are individuals, these are people with families and names, and you place a wreath on, on the grave of that uh, World War II soldier that I did yesterday, and it just really, really hits you, and that's what their families want us to remember, that yeah. these are, just, they don't want us to forget. Well done. We're continuing our uh, show here today on uh, veterans, and we have another guest with us here, Joe Hogan, who is the president of the Guardians for Reeves Across America That's right. at, at the National Cemetery here in Bucks County. Uh, Joe, first, welcome. Thank you very much. Joe, and again, honor to be here. And we have Joe Safran with us as we continue with uh, his partnership uh, with the Guardians. And certainly, uh, uh, Joe, just give us a very quick recap 
of this partnership and where you fit in with Joe, and then we'll switch. Oh, in the beginning of, I guess this year, we, uh, we were out doing the veterans program of, uh, in Bucks County, uh, the ID program, and we ran across the guardians of the National mm -hmm. Cemetery and meeting these gentlemen at some of these functions, we in the, my team in the office, like we always consider everything down here, team, the, the team in the office, we decided that maybe we could uh, work uh, in partnership with the, the guardians and try to raise funds for the reefs across America, uh, uh, which re actually laves reefs on the graves of our fallen, uh, uh, I want to say heroes, uh, right at the, about at the, uh, at the uh, Christmas season. And uh, so we did start a partnership with the, uh, the Guardians. Uh, and now I'll let Joe take it from yeah. here and he can explain a lot more about the program yeah. and how it works. Welcome again, Joe. And certainly uh, the Reads Across America, we're going to talk about that and uh, some of the work that you're doing. And we just had Gabriel in here and gave us part of the Guardians. Now tell us about you. Well, it's really an honor to be here today amongst uh, some old friends from years back. Uh, as Gabriel stated, uh, 2007 is when we first started to form our organization. And one of the things that uh, was discussed was uh, our participation in the Reese Across America program once our uh, uh, national shrine was uh, starting to be developed. Uh, this would be our fourth year this year that we uh, uh, hold this service. And how we do it is through the uh, graciousness of our community and programs such as uh, Mr. Saffron has uh, taken upon to uh, assist us in uh, raising our funds. Through the county program, we've raised over uh, 15, maybe $1,800 so far this year. Um, our goal this year is $83,000. We have over 6,000 graves. We participate with the uh, national program up in, uh, in Maine with uh, Merle and Karen Worcester. Uh, they started their program approximately 23 years ago in the Arlington National Cemetery. And since then, in the 23 years that this program has been in existence, we have uh, 527 national cemeteries that participate in the program and 27 across the uh, Atlantic Ocean and the Philippines in the Pacific oh, area. Wow. So we uh, religiously start our program at 12 o'clock on the second Saturday of December. Uh, last year, we had uh, approximately a thousand people came to uh, help us uh, adorn the graves of our fallen heroes. And uh, I'm proud to say that uh, I've been on the ground floor of this program. Uh, it is a very, very beautiful program. Uh, once all is uh, installed upon the headstones of our, of our fallen heroes, and then when the snows come, it just, it just. Uh, adorns the, the uh, Washington Cross and National Cemetery area that's, that's just uh, leaves you breathtaking. Well, uh, you've been doing this since 07, correct? At, with the uh, National Cemetery. Our program has... Uh, but the Guardians, uh, with the Reeds, it started when? Uh, 2010. Oh, okay, 2010. First. So, uh, and you need to raise the money for that, is that correct? Correct. For the Reeds, I want everybody to understand that. And if somebody wanted to send a donation, where would they send that? We have a uh, website called Reese Across America, which is the national sponsor. We have the uh, uh, Recorder Deeds Office up in Doylestown, and then we do have our own website. Uh, it, you know, thank you again to you, as I said, for your service to our country and uh, the opportunity you give us here in this great country that haven't served, which I have not served. So. Uh, I can't tell you how I appreciate it uh, so, so much for my family and everything that the veterans give us what we have. I mean, take no, take no away from it. We are so fortunate. And uh, I hope that people get involved, make donations for you. Uh, what happens if you don't get enough donations? I mean, we have to have Reeves there. We'll get enough donations, Mayor. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> we'll get enough And I want people to hear what you're saying. I want you to go online. The first one was, there. our first program was 32000 Our second was 43000 66000 last year, and this year 80, it's $83,000. And we do it through the graciousness of our community. Uh, we cover the five-county five regional area. The uh, cemetery encompasses 75 miles uh, out to the ocean, up to the Allentown area. And we do it because of... of uh, the, our community, our community steps up through the internet. Our community steps up through the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, uh, doing bucket brigades for us. And uh, we have we have numerous uh, numerous uh, people that like to uh, support.
support our research. And I American can't think program. of a, honestly a better a, a better cause. December fourteenth is oh is the fourteenth is second, when you have second it. Second weekend. Always the second Saturday in the second month. Second Saturday. Listen, could you think of a better present you could do before Christmas for someone than a veteran? I can't think of a veteran that has served this country and is laid to rest in this magnificent center. I can't think of a better thing, Joe, to no, folks I, out I there. Totally, to that's, what, that's kind of what inspired us, like, to do something like that for the, the fallen veteran, the guy that has, has passed and gone on. Because if it wasn't for them guys, we right. wouldn't be, I, And we, ladies, we wouldn't, uh, be, yeah, we wouldn't, wouldn't be here. And I always say that. Do you go to the, any <coughs> veteran affair you go to? I mean, it's why we're here and have the freedoms that we have in this country. And boy, oh boy, sometimes I think we take it for granted. But a show like this, I hope, wakes us all up that we understand, and especially our, our fallen comrades that have uh, that are buried up there in this magnificent cemetery. I thank you so much, Joe. One, for your service. God bless you, and keep up the great work. Thank and you, Mayor. As president, I know it's not an easy task. <laughs> Anytime you're in leadership, I know what it's like. Certainly Joe knows that. I'll give you the last word, Joe. Well, just again, thank you for having us, and thank you for having the Guardians, and uh, hopefully we can continue the uh, uh, success of these programs throughout the Bucks County, and here, especially here in Ben Salem. Thank you for your support out there, and uh, God bless everyone. God yeah, bless thank our you. First of all, thank God, and God bless our veterans. Until next time, everybody, God bless.